Shalom, Brother Kabbalah back on the GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. <clears throat> Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kadash. Double honors to our apostles, that was a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and well. Allah Shalom, I sincere argument throughout the four points of the earth, pushing us truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity and Allah Shalom. Taught you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, not just his of the world, but doers as well. New men, women, and children, and hopefully, like Shalom. All right, this is part two <clears throat> to the lesson we did last night. Um, the brother Huad, brother Azad, brother Shawai, and I did. And uh, Esau cut the stream. And um, I'm just going to do a part two to it. And Lord Willis, that's edifying. I'm going to start off with the precept we brought out, open up with. And we're going to go from there. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21. I'll get to the point. Verse 27 says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in, in a cloud. All right, a cloud represents the chariots. Okay. What's that? Psalms. Psalms 104. Yeah, Psalms 104. It says, Psalms 104 and 3, it says, Who lay of the beams of his, ch of his chambers in the waters, who make of the clouds his chariots, who walk up upon the wings of the wind. All right, and that's what we saw last night. You know, uh, at the camp wrapped up, we saw a bunch of chariots, right? Just coming back and forth, cruising back and forth. <clears throat> that's what we saw. Okay, and these are signs let us know that look our redemption draw up now man the lord is is, is 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 on his way back he sends on begotten son back man and we can't wait we can't wait man okay so let's go back to luke 21 This is Luke 21 and um, 27 again. It says, and then shall, the, shall they see the Son of Man. We all going to see the Son of Man. The scriptures say, every eye shall see him. Okay? Even those which have pierced him, which is reincarnation. All right? Back in the flesh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I felt like I had to sneeze. But um, reading on Luke 21 and 27, it says, Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory, right with the world and called UFOs. Those are the chariots, the vehicles of the Lord. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads for your redemption draw of nigh. Yeah, our salvation is close. And this is going to bug out everyone. Except for the hopeful elect. It's going to bug them the hell out. Because when you read Wisdom of Solomon, which is what I had, um, I was going to bring out yesterday before, they, before we uh, got shut down. This is going to be a, a, a strangeness. This is going to catch people off guard. All right, they're, not, they're, they're not expecting us to be delivered in this, in this such a fashion. This Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Matter of fact, uh... I'm going to highlight what I want to read. This uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then said a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Right? And we're standing in great boldness in, in, in the face of our enemies. All right? Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed so-called white man. This is his world, and we're chanting it down, telling him that he's getting ready to go into slavery. All right? His women and his children. And we're going to rule over them. And they're going to be subjects. And what they did to us, we're going to do uh, uh, two times more. We're going to double it in righteousness. It takes great boldness for slaves to do that because we are slaves. We are yet this day in a captivity, brute, the third chapter. And that's another way you know that the Lord is dealing with us, man. 
All right. And made no account of our labors. <clears throat> when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Now, who's troubled? Not the average, you know, uh, um, beer drinking Edomite. Not the average uh, corporate Edomite. Okay, not those Edomites that got into that riverboat fight with all them jakes. <laughs> but the, the elites, the higher ups, the ones who know who we are and who they are. They're troubled. They're going to be terrified with terrible fear. All right. Because they know prophecy is, getting, is fulfilling itself. It says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, the chariots. So far beyond all they look for. Okay, but also spiritual power. They're not expecting us to 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 be uh you know to get spiritual power and to do the things that uh some of us are going to do through the spirit and power. How about you, Shai? They're not expecting that. They're not expecting chariots to come down and beam us up while all hell is breaking loose, while chaos is hitting. All right, they're not expecting that. Verse three, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb and a reproach. Yeah, we, we, we was up under the curses. The Lord put us there. All right. See, they, you know, you thought that we would always be in this state, but we're not. And seeing those chariots last night was another, just another faith booster, man. Look, we here. We here. There's many more of us than it is them. Right? Oh, that story of uh, Elijah and Elisha, I believe it was. Let me see. If I can't find it quick, I'll move on. God, where was that? But um, let me see here. Yeah, yeah. The water, y'all. Bash me up, shy. Second King six, and I started um. 13 it says and he said go and spy where he is that I may send and fetch him and it was told him saying behold he is in Dothan there therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host and they came by night and compassed the city and when the servant of the man of Yahweh was risen early and gone forth behold and host compassed the city both with horses and chariots and his servant said to him alas my master how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, open, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. See? And those chariots that we saw last night was just a, a sign that look, the Lord is with us. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah, it may seem like, you know, we're losing, but we're, we're, we're truly winning. We're really winning, man. And it's going to be made known in these latter days who the Lord was truly dealing with and who the Lord is with. Then shall be known who are my chosen. Right? Verse 18, it says, And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord, and, and said, smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness, according to the word of Elisha. All right? So, and look, in them times, we're going to be performing those same types of miracles, man. Time is getting short for this man and his rulership, man. The Lord's getting ready to do some, uh, um, um, some miracles, man. Like brothers like to say, the book of Acts all over again.
you know, so I, I just wanted to, uh, you know, touch on that. Oh, let me go back and finish out that Wisdom of Solomon. And then we'll just go ahead and close it out. Wisdom of Solomon 5. And 3, it says, and repenting, and matter of fact, I started too. And when they should, they see it, it sh they shall be terrible, terrible, troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strings of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. Because they look for us to be what? Constantly on the bottom. Not having a savior. And they repenting and groaning for anguish the spirit shall say within themselves, this was he, right? The so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, the elect of whom we had sometimes in the vision and the proverb and reproach. We fool account his life madness and his end to be without honor and our end is going to be with honor. Okay. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh and his lot among the saints? Because we are the saints. Psalms 114. Psalms 148. And 14. All right. So we, we need to be looking up, you know, uh, in the spirit and physically, because our redemption draw of not Akim, Akwaf, you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. So with that, let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.